guys welcome back to another live video it's your girl lerato period oh, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up my okuru was so weak oh grrr. make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up comment in the comment section don't forget to turn your post notifications and hit the subscribe button and for today's video we're going to be reacting to video shows alleged harassment by by now fired wellington police chief so i think a police officer is arresting someone but without further ado let's get into the video speaking out tonight for the very first time a wellington here. city employee who accuses the former police chief of sexual misconduct says she has Ooh. lived a nightmare it is a story fox 13 has been following for weeks now you saw her last friday rory bradley was fired for harassment and retaliation and we now That's know good. why that the incident is being good. detailed in an exclusive interview with fox 13 Haley higgins is on the story tonight Mm. Video captured December 8th appears to show former Wellington Police Chief Rory Bradley making an obscene gesture toward an employee in City Hall. Moments later, he wraps <gasps> his arms around her face and neck in a headlock. He's the chief of police. I was scared. I didn't know what to respond or how to respond. Later that morning, video also shows the woman walking past Bradley, holding a notepad. The former police chief appears to wind up before hitting her on the backside. I didn't know what to do. I looked at him and I said, you can't do that. That's sexual harassment. I said, don't ever touch me again. The videos were included that is so in inappropriate. against Bradley in February. The city attorney argues that for months, Bradley sent inappropriate and flirtatious text messages, even asking for nude photos while he was on duty. What? Bradley was fired Friday by the city council, of which he is a member. The text messages were simply to be meant to be fired. That's it. That's all it was meant to be. That's all she knows it to be. Because Bradley's attorney tells Fox 13, quote, he's disappointed. He loves Wellington. He grew up there. He's disappointed he is no longer able to serve in that capacity based on the vote by the city council. It's not a victory. I don't feel like a victory at all. I feel like, I mean, he got what he deserved. He did. Because you shouldn't that do that so to anybody, period, Look especially when the chief of police. You don't touch anybody. Now, days after the harassment complaint against the former police chief, he then made a counter complaint against the alleged victim, saying that she was the one who touched him and harassed him. That was found wow. not to be true by an independent investigation. And I'm told that the former chief also filed two other formal complaints against other women working in the office. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. We should mention wow. Bradley's father is also a member of the Wellington City Council, <clears throat> but yeah, even was worse. not present at Friday's vote. A formal complaint has also been made to Post, the state branch that oversees police training and certification. If you have been a victim of sexual harassment or assault, there are recent work resources rather out there to help you. The Utah Coalition Against Sexual Assault has a mobile app, 24 hours. Wow. That's what they always do. It's like, if you're going to press charges against someone, they're going to try and press the charges that you're pressing against them against you. Like, don't be stupid. Like, it's caught on camera. He held her in a headlock. And then on top of that, he hit her bum. And it's like, why are you being inappropriate? Like, she, I bet she felt so uncomfortable. Maybe she didn't even want to. Maybe because she could see how aggressive he was. She didn't even want to agitate him anymore. She's like, you know what? It's caught on camera. I'm going to just sneak. Like, that is so uncomfortable. Like, you go and use it. It doesn't mean if you're a police officer, you can't do anything illegal or anything that could maybe make you lose your job. Or, I don't know. Just like these police officers that kill black people for nothing in America. Like, it's like... They think they're above the law. Even a president, a president is not above the law. If you do something wrong, you do something wrong, and that's just what it is. But without further ado, guys, give us your big thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on this police officer. Actually, yeah, comment your thoughts. I want to know your guys' thoughts, and he deserved it. That's that's out of question. And don't forget to turn your post notifications, hit the subscribe button, and I'm on the road to 200 subscribers, guys. I can't believe I'm saying 200 subscribers. 200 subscribers 200 subscribers and it's your girl and i'm out